Hey butterflies, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to show you guys how to do a purple sunset eye look. So let's get started. So right now I wanna start off with some primer, some eyeshadow primer, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lids and you know, make sure that it's an even coat. You don't want too much or too little. Then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna go over my eyelids where I put the eyeshadow primer and just blend it out so that there's not too much product like I was saying earlier. Okay, so now we're grabbing our concealer and I personally use two different kinds of concealers when I'm doing my makeup. One that's my skin color and then one that's a few shades lighter. But um, for my eyelids, I use the lighter one. Right under my brow, I will use the one that's more close to my skin tone to give me more of a natural look. Also, fellow butterflies, please make sure if you're using a beauty blender that you wet it. You'd never wanna use a dry beauty blender. It just doesn't give you good coverage and it doesn't really help Help you blend out your makeup well so if you guys are a beauty blender fans please damp it make sure it's wet because dry is not the way to go okay so now it's time to have some fun I love colors um, I have two eyeshadow palettes that I'll be using today I kind of um, pulled out the other one later on in the video but you'll see it um, so I wanted to do an orange color in my crease and I'm using more of a fluffy brush and I'm just kind of dabbing that in so that way I can get as much color as I can onto my lid um, for this look I did not set my lid I just kind of went in with the colors I feel like it gives it more of a vibrant look and then right after the orange I'm gonna go in with a deeper purple and that purple I'm just gonna pretty much rub it into my crease not above that I just want it to be like on my lid itself okay so now for the second palette um, I am gonna be using the peach color and the purple color in there it's like more of a lavender and those are for to blend out the top of the orange right under my brow bone um, so I'm just gonna go in with a light color I don't want it too heavy just literally a light dab um, if you put too much powder just blow it off a little bit you don't want too much because you don't want to give yourself more of a darker harsher curve you want to have a fade of color as far as what brushes I use to do this look I pretty much stuck to three different kinds of super big fluffy brush to blend out the top of my bra or the bottom of my brow bone then I used a smaller fluff brush to um, help me blend out the ones in my crease and then for the darker colors on my lid I had a pack or like a um, a short brush that I can pack the color into onto my lid that way it's easier now it's time for some concealer and I didn't want to do a complete cut crease but I did want some color on my lid so what I did was I took my detail brush and I just went along right before my crease and I just took out all that color and then I went back in with the second palette that I used and I just used some gold shimmers and pink shimmers and just packed it onto my lid to give me more um, more of a, a summer sunset fade downward so that way to me it looked like right where I put the concealer it looked kind of like the sun and then I just packed that color on blend the crease itself out that way it doesn't look so harsh and that is how I got this look. Okay, so now that you've seen that I've done my second eye, we are gonna start with beating the face. So first, we're gonna start with that Fenty foundation, that Fenty Beauty. It is like the best foundation I've ever used. Um, I've only used like three other ones, you know, I'm still learning my way around, but honestly, it has the best coverage. If you use it with the primer, the primer just makes the foundation that much better. Like the foundation stays without the primer, but when you add the primer, you just, you could literally wear that foundation for two days. Not that you should wash your face, but you could wear it for two days straight. I'm just saying. All right, so now it's time for some contour and I like to go in and I do my cheekbones. I'll also do my, the bridge of my nose. I'll do my, above my lip, around my chin. And then I'll do a little bit on my forehead, not too much, cause I don't think my forehead's that big, but you know. 
Now I'm going in with my Contour Beauty Blender. I have multiple beauty blenders for different things, one for highlight, one for foundation, and then one for my contour. So I'm going to take my Contour Beauty Blender and I am gonna start on the bridge of my nose. And I'm just gonna um, blend it downwards. You don't wanna blend it upwards. You don't wanna blend it um, by wiping it to the side. You wanna just blend in a downward motion with a damp beauty blender. And then for your forehead, da um, dab to the back of your hairline. Um, and then for your cheekbones, you're gonna dab towards your ear. You're gonna drag it back towards your ear. So do you guys remember what I was saying earlier about using two different kinds of foundations? So as well as for my eyeshadow, right under my eyes for my highlight, I like to use the lighter one um, just because it gives me more, I feel like, of a younger, fresher look. Um, I feel like the darker one just kind of looks um, bland. So for me, I just go in right under my eyes and I blend it out with a moist beauty blender and just kind of make sure that everything looks very natural. Now I'm taking my concealer, my regular concealer, my Fenty concealer, because Fenty, I'm telling y'all, like I should be promoted by Fenty, but I just go in with that right under my cheekbones where I put my contour. I like to give myself a little extra edge and then on my forehead, the middle of my nose, my um, middle of my lip or the above my lip and right in my chin. After I do that, I'm gonna take my um, beauty blender that I was using right under my eyes and I'm gonna blend out the all the foundation or the concealer that I used on my nose and under my cheekbone and I'm just gonna blend that out. All right guys, so we're gonna set our highlight as well as our contour. For my highlight, I use a setting powder and then for my contour, I use a loose skin tone powder. And I just kind of, I don't believe I sat and baked for this one. I don't really think I'm a baker. I only do that on special occasions. But as you can see, I'm putting the white powder on my, wherever I put my highlight, so on my cheekbones, right under my jawline, in the middle of my forehead, on my nose, and then the contour, I just put it around my hairline, on my jawline, and my cheekbones, and the sides of my nose to set everything and make sure everything is in place. So now it's time for some setting spray. And I love using setting spray because it literally does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. It does what it's supposed to do. It makes your makeup stay all night. And y'all know I got that Urban Decay all nighter. So I'm not playing around. All right guys, so now we're on to eyeliner. Um, personally, I've used about three different kinds of liquid eyeliner and so far Kat Von D's tattoo liner is my favorite. Um, I literally go by it all the time because it doesn't um, dry out as easily. There's a felt tip. It's an actual pen, so I feel like I'm just use. It's not. It's like flows like very easily. I'm not struggling. I don't have to dip it. I literally, if I run out of um, some ink, I just shake it and it comes out really smoothly. So Kat Von D liner is really great. As for my bottom lid, I love to use powder just to give me more of a smoky eye under the bottom. But I do like to go in with a pencil on my waterline. And today I'll be using a deep blue I believe it is Urban Decay 24 hour liner and it's very pigmented so it just makes my eyes pop okay guys we're gonna be wrapping some things up so now we're going in with blush um for me I use a stipple brush and red lipstick I know that sounds really weird but it just really works for me um and I don't have to go out and buy blush because red lipstick just kind of gives my cheeks that rosy color so I'm gonna be using two separate colors on my face for highlight today and one is gonna go under my brow and then the other one is gonna go on my cheekbone. For my brow line, I am going to use a just a flat brush um, just to help me smooth everything out. And then on my cheekbone, I'll actually be going in with a feather brush, a smaller feather brush. And to blend everything out, I'll be going in with a bigger feather brush because you don't wanna leave um, looking too harsh on your skin when you put highlight on you want to really blend out the edges so that it looks smooth like you don't even have the highlight on
All right, so bronzer is one of my favorite parts because I just love to give myself a little shiny nose and it just gives you a little a bronze. Literally what, it, what the word is, it gives you bronze. So I put um, it anywhere that I put highlight, but I put a little bit extra on my nose because I just like to have a shiny nose. All right guys, we're really wrapping it up now. So we're gonna go in and do our lips. I used three different colors on my lips. Um, as far as the liners, they were more of a peachy color. I cannot tell you for sure the brand, but um, for my lipsticks, I did use the Victoria's Secret as well as a Forever Matte lipstick. Um, they're really cheap, but the colors really are amazing as far as the pigments in them. So I used the tanner color around the edges of my lips. Um, then I did pink closer to the inner center of my lips and then I went in the middle middle and did purple so I blended that all together and it really came out nicely it really matched my eyes all right um, I left myself doing my lashes in the video I'm not the best at them yet I'm still practicing um, I think I did really well on putting them on but I just wanted to show the process of you know me learning still how to put on lashes and first I put the glue on the lashes let them dry a little bit until it was tacky and then I went in with my fingers I feel like tweezers is a little bit too hard for me but the, um, my fingers I could touch my lashes really well and I just got everything really closely so there you go so we're finally on to the last steps we're just doing a couple touch-ups so we're gonna put on fix our mascara we are going to run a brush over our face to make sure we are flawless do any last bits of setting spray and then guess what people you're done you are done and you did amazing so i hope you really enjoyed my purple sunset makeup eye tutorial and i can't wait to see you guys on my next episode please like subscribe down below share with all your friends Thank you, Beauty Butterflies, and we will see you on the next episode.